Hello everyone. This is Anila. Welcome to Math Pals. Today let's study about quadratic equations. Have you heard about quadratic equations? Yes. It is a second degree equation with one variable. The standard form of the quadratic equation is ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0 where a not equal to 0 a b c belongs to the set of real numbers let's see some of the examples of quadratic equation three x square plus four x plus five is equal to zero x square minus seven is equal to zero 4x squared minus 5 is equal to 7x, etc. These are the examples of quadratic equations. What is a quadratic equation? It is a second degree equation with one variable. Let's see these examples. Here you can see there is a variable x with the highest power 2 or it is a second degree equation in one variable. And in all these three examples, you can see the same. In the quadratic equation, ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0, where a not equal to 0, the expression b square minus 4ac is called as the discriminant. And it is denoted by d. It's denoted by d. The expression b square minus 4ac is the discriminant and it is denoted by d. Now, let's see the types of quadratic equation. The quadratic equation, which is in the form ax squared plus bx is equal to 0, is known as the affected quadratic equation. Affected quadratic equation. The expression, which is in the form ax squared plus bx is equal to 0. Example, 2x squared plus 3x is equal to 0. x square minus 4x is equal to 0. The next is the pure quadratic equation. What's a pure quadratic equation? The quadratic equation which is in the form ax square plus c is equal to 0. The expression which is in the form ax square plus c is equal to 0 is called as a pure quadratic equation. Example, x square plus 5 is equal to 0, 3x square is equal to 4, etc. These are the examples of pure quadratic equation. Now, let's check few equations whether they are quadratic or not. The first one, 2x plus 3 the whole square is equal to 4 into 3x minus 5. Second one, x minus 1 into 3x minus 4 is equal to 7. Consider the first equation. 2x plus 3 the whole square is equal to 4 into 3x minus 5. Expand this. It is in the form of a plus b the whole square. So it is a square plus 2ab plus b square. That's the expansion of the first term here. That's 2x plus 3 the whole square is equal to Multiply the 4 inside, 4 3s are 12x minus 4 5s are 20. This is equal to 4x square plus 12x plus 9 is equal to 12x minus 20. Bring all the terms to this side which are on the right side of the equation. So, we will get it as 4x square plus 12x plus 9 minus 12x plus 20 
is equal to 0. Plus 12x minus 12x gets cancelled. So this reminds us 4x square plus 9 plus 20 is equal to 0. Add these two, you will get it as 4x square plus 29 is equal to 0. This is your final answer. Now if you see this, you can see that this is an expression or this is an equation in one variable with highest power 2 or it is a second degree equation in one variable. Therefore, this is a quadratic equation. Now, let's see the second example. x minus 1 into 3x minus 4 is equal to 7. Consider the first term here, x into 3x minus 4 minus 1 into 3x minus 4 is equal to 7. Multiply this x inside, it is 3x square minus 4x minus 1 into 3x is minus 3x plus 4. Since minus 1 into minus 4 is plus 4 is equal to 7. 3x square. Now add the like terms. Minus 4x and minus 3x. This will become minus 7x plus 4. Bring this 7 to the other side. Minus 7 is equal to 0. So this becomes 3x square minus 7x minus 3 is equal to 0. This two are of two numbers are of different signs. Seven is a greater number. Subtract the smaller number four from the greater number seven. You will get three and give the sign of the bigger number or the greater number. So it becomes minus three. It's equal to zero. This is the final expression that you are getting. Now look at this uh, expression or the equation and compare it with the standard form. Here also we are having the same expression this is also a second degree equation in one variable therefore this also is an example of a quadratic equation thanks for watching we'll see you in the next class with the continuation topic of quadratic equation